wanted to share this all uh, with you because I thought it was pretty cool setup and I wanted to archive it so that I remember what we did. Uh, we just streamed a big, huge uh, hockey tournament. What is that? 14 teams, multiple age divisions. And I wanted to have a uh, slick scoreboard for them. And so we designed this out. But usually when we do that, we're designing, you know, for three teams or something like that. And we just build individual ones that way. But we needed a quick way to be able to change this in between games because they were all stacked up and there were so many teams. So liked the design of it in general. You know, it's pretty standard uh, stuff. I think the original one was from the a free download. And we added the embellishments of the opacitized logo. But then it, in order to make it so that we could quickly change these, what I did is I used Photoshop's Smart Objects option. And so, for instance, the right logo here, which is currently on the LD, I'll zoom in on it, um, is a smart object. And the smart objects in Photoshop, when you click them, they open up. And what we did is we went in and we put every single logo from each team in here. So let's say that it was actually the Oilers that were playing. I could turn on the Oilers. As soon as I save that, then the logo changes and it has all the same attributes as far as its opacity and where it's cut and all that stuff. So that was pretty slick, made it really easy to tell the kids, you know, hey, it's the uh, it's the thunder playing and they would just open that, save it and and then it would be the thunder. And then we said, well, okay, we want these accent colors to match the thunder stuff. I'm going to use a different team that's got a little more prevalent colors. Let's use the snow kings here. Um, and then we were able to look down at the arena and see what uniforms they were in because they each had different uniforms. And we would take the right main uh, bar, which is the big one, and the right accent bar and change the color overlay. And in to order to sync it up with their logo, we click the color overlay, click the color picker. And then what I did underneath is I just made a color swatch for them. So I would come to the Oilers uh, here, or no, we're doing the Snow Kings, and I'd say, oh, they're wearing their blue jerseys. So we would click blue and say, okay, for the main was their blue. And then the accent piece was it would be their other color, their green. And really quickly, we could make that scoreboard update uh, without a bunch of running around. It wasn't even too hard to set up, um, but boy, it made life a lot easier. So once that saved, uh, that's our scoreboard. If you're wondering how we got it on the stream, we were actually using NDI screen capture uh, and we were using OBS um, texting. So there's a scoreboard app. Many of you have seen this before. Scoreboard app, and we can update this. These are the Oilers, right? Um, and that would update there. And then this is the score thing we use with the text files uh, pulled off. That's a, probably a different tutorial if you had not seen that before. Um, but then we used green screen in the background, OBS screen capture, and we brought it into our TriCaster as a DSK2, and just uh, off we were running.